Success for the Bengals has meant big money for merchants. Yeah, it's been excellent. I mean, it's honestly been probably the busiest winter I've had in Cincinnati ever. I've been in business since 2015. Josh Salandino has an apparel shop in the Newport on the Levee complex and says he's been selling out of his specialty Bengals merchandise as fast as he can print it. Uh, but I've sold out of Bengals jerseys about 10 times this year, and I usually do like, you know, pretty large size orders anywhere from 50 to 100 at a time. But in the playoffs, as soon as I would put something in stock, that it would be gone that day. Like it's been that crazy, and you know, it's it's not a bad problem to have. You know, it's it kind of stinks when you miss out on um, some sales and people come in they want to buy a jersey, but. You know, it's snooze you lose kind of deal. If you don't line up when we open up, sometimes you don't get what you want. Salandino isn't the only entrepreneur riding the Bengals wave. The store Native, just across the aisle, has enjoyed a similar success. Fast becoming known for its creative store design that includes a hidden selfie room. Sales here have been booming as well. A week's worth of sales we did in two days, so it was amazing. I expect it to be as busy as it was uh, the last game, I mean, people as they're watching the game were coming in buying stuff like it was it was great. It's been fun and I'm just really looking forward to seeing how